The roads now reopen here at Center Plaza after the crane came in and did hours of work. Put together part by part, the machine for the job. It came in on 20 flatbed trucks. Brought in Saturday morning to clear out damage left behind after a huge blast. Overall effort, there's probably more than 100 people involved. Scaffolding hanging on the side of the BGE building in downtown Baltimore now on the ground. It's actually moving very quick, quickly. It'll be probably till, uh, you know, about sunset tonight that they'll get it all down and uh, uh, we'll be back to normal on the streets here tomorrow morning. The clearing of the debris only taking a few hours following Wednesday morning's blast on the 16th floor. Pretty loud. One big boom. That left two contractors who were scaffolding the building hanging on the platform for more than an hour. 23 workers in total rescued out of the building while 21 were treated and released from the hospital. Our thoughts and prayers continue to be with everybody who was injured for their speedy recovery and with their families during this holiday period. As the investigation continues and the high rise crane soon moving out. It now has to be disassembled in parts and sent back out to Western Maryland. The next step now is repairing the six floors hit hard by the blast. There's a lot of repairs to be made. Fortunately, between the pandemic, remote work and the holiday season, we don't have a lot of people in the building right now, uh, which is a good thing. We can operate and make the repairs we need to make without interrupting a lot of schedules. And officials say the cause of the blast is due in part to construction work going on at the time and not natural gas. In downtown Baltimore, I'm Trey Ward, WBAL-TV, 11 News.